If you've got your microeconomics final exam coming up and feel like you might fail it, I see a lot of students get asked this type of question. It's super simple, but I wanna make sure you know how to solve for cost-benefit analysis problems. And just to be clear, your professor might be calling this marginal analysis, not cost-benefit. Okay, so you're probably gonna get at least one question where it's like a table of benefit and cost values asking you how many units you will consume. Let's start right here, which is the core baseline understanding of what you need to know. We'll get into the table in a little bit here. You will only consume a unit if your additional benefit or marginal benefit is higher than your additional cost or marginal cost. Let's say this scenario is about consuming an extra chocolate bar. We benefit 15 happiness points by consuming it, and it only costs us eight health points or whatever. It doesn't really matter here. Since our additional benefits outweigh our additional costs, we're going to consume that next chocolate bar. But after having like 20 chocolate bars, our benefit and costs are gonna look a little different. We wouldn't consume our 21st chocolate bar because let's imagine that at that point, we're only benefiting two happiness points. We're full and we feel disgusting. And the cost of that next chocolate bar is 25 points of your stomach hurting. This right here is the law of the diminishing returns. As you consume more and more units, your benefits start to decrease and your costs start to increase. All right, now for a more exam-like question you might face. With a scenario like this one right here, how many units should we consume? Remember, all we gotta focus on here is at what point do our costs get higher than our benefit? Well, at our first unit, we are benefiting an additional 20 units of happiness and it's costing us only 12. So we're gonna consume the first unit of whatever this good is. All right, for the second unit here, we're benefiting 15 units, but it's costing us 14. We're still gonna consume it because our benefits are outweighing our costs. Now for this third unit here, we're benefiting 10 units, but it's costing us 16. Our marginal cost is now greater than our marginal benefit, so we're not gonna consume this third unit. If this is still confusing to you, just think about it this way. You would never buy something if you're benefiting less than it's costing you. That's cost-benefit analysis or marginal analysis at its core. Hey, real quick, before moving on, if you need me to explain to you all of microeconomics now, go to my site and I can walk you through everything in two hours. I've got 95 TikTok-esque microeconomics concepts that step-by-step -step walk you through what you need to know. And you can unlock them for free with your email. So it's super easy. And if you need me to help you now through everything, go to my site. All right, now there's one more scenario I wanna make sure you're prepped for. And that's when your professor gives you total benefit and total cost values. All we gotta do in these scenarios is find the difference between each total cost or benefit to calculate the marginal values. All right, for example, this first unit, marginal benefit's 10. This next unit, 18 minus 10 is eight. This next one's six and this next one's four. These right here are our marginal benefit values per unit. All right, and for our costs here, first unit has a marginal cost of five, second 10, third 15, and fourth 20. With this considered, how many units should we consume? Well, for our first unit, plus 10 is greater than plus five, so we're gonna consume it. Our second unit, plus eight, is less than plus 10. Our marginal cost is outweighing our marginal benefit. So in this scenario, we are only going to consume one unit.